Hello, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia video. Today we're going to be going over the actual character info for Krom and Peony? Peony. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go over them. That's not the first time I'm going to mispronounce because she has a lot of weird stuff in her kit. Before we get into it, I should mention, it's not about the like stuff, but if you want to leave a like to help me out, that'd be grateful. Um, my dog's going crazy because there's a lot of cop activity in my neighborhood in the dead of night because we've had an issue with homeless drug dealers. Yeah, I guess the, the, the quarantine did not stop drug dealers from drug dealing. So if you hear long, loud, banging noises and dogs, I apologize for that, but that's just the way it's going to be until, I don't know he decides to go to bed or they stop the police stop or the drug dealer stop whoever does it but anyway let's get into these actual units i just felt like i needed to say it uh, because it's gonna happen see there he goes all right uh so the next summon showcase for five of them kindred spirits part one kicks off at 11 p.m april 29 2020 this roster will be a summon showcase not including the limited five adventures from the fire emblem lost heroes summon showcases which is live at the same time so basically all the part ones ones are not going to be in here, which is a good call. Uh, my name is Krom, and I'm here to say the prince of the Halodrome, Halodome of Ulysses and leader of a militia called the Shepherds. While he himself worries that he comes across as cold, he, idolizes, he is idolized as a good man with pretense and one who fights in the forefront for the sake of peace. Exalted Sword deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead and grants the user one stack of Flames of Awakening. Flames of Awakening can stack up to three times and each stack will progressively increase the strength of Aether. Using Aether will consume all stacks of Flames of Awakening. Aether deals flame damage to the target and nearby enemies and restores 3% of the damage inflicted as HP to the user. This recovery caps at 15% of their maximum HP. Afflicted foes take extra damage. This skill strength will increase relative to the number of Flames of Awakening stacks the user has and will consume all Flames of Awakening stacks and one level of the user's skill reserves on use. And then his co-ability abil co is HP plus 10% and defense 10%. Whoa, increases the HP by 10% and defense by 10% benefits the whole team. His chain co-op ability is Flame Burn equals user wind resistance 8%. When someone attuned to flame reduce, when when if a team member is attuned to flame reduces wind damage taken by them by 8%, when they successfully burn an enemy after activating, this ability will not activate again for 10 seconds, benefits the whole team. Abilities, full HP equals strength 15%, sleep resistance 100%, rightful king. If Aether is used when the user has three stacks of flames of awakening and their skill reservoir is at level three, a variant called Awakening Aether will be used instead. Using Awakening Aether will consume all three stacks of Flames of Awakening and empty the user's skill reserve the reservoir. Hmm. One moment. So yeah, that's Marth. I think that co ability is really good. Um, good enough to make him bench for sure. Uh, so here's the weird thing about Krom. I really think. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait to see him in action <laughs> because at this moment he doesn't really feel like he's gonna be able to beat Marf. He's certainly good um, in terms of meta stuff, of course. But if you don't care about meta stuff, then congratulations, your boy is gonna be big and he's gonna hit hard, and you won't have to care about anything else. The one thing that's kind of a bummer about him is the fact that he's sleep resistance. When I don't know, not a lot of units really benefit from sleep resistance. That's the same problem that um, Navid had. Navid's a fantastic unit. But he's sleep resistant, so he's not really used in a lot. He can't be used in the bread and butter stuff. Like he can't be used in um, Master HMS. You can use him, but you, it requires you to be an extremely good player to compensate. Uh, to be fair, Azalef also has that kind of problem. But again, it's kind of one of those things where it's like kind of annoying because no real, none of the major fights at the end you really use it for. But again, if you all you care about is Krom. And all you care about is using Krom, then congratulations, because I think this guy's really going to be really good. His, I'm really interested to see how, how much damage Aether does. I believe in the video that they posted, he ended up doing, I think with full stack, I think the damage multiplier was like a thousand something. Don't 100% know about that. It was from people who would know, 
who said it, so I kind of trust him. But until we actually see him in action, I would just wait on him. But he seemed really good. Um, now let's go to Peony. My name's Peony, and I'm here to say... Uh, <laughs> uh, she's a fairy from some kind of fairy realm, the realm of dreams. Brave, forward-looking, and kind, she has the power to grant happy dreams... And loves mo nothing more than using it to frequent using it frequently. She also has a fond she she she's also fond of playing with human children. Ooh. Interesting. Flower of Joy deals light damage to the target and inflicts paralysis. Activates skill shift if the attack connects. Phase two adds an additional ten percent. Increase the user's defense in ten seconds. While phase three adds an additional ten percent. Increase the entire team's strength by ten for ten seconds. Um, Gentle Dream deals light damage to the enemy in a line and increases the entire team's strength by 10% and attack rate by 10% for 10 what the Paral paralyzed foes take extra damage just straight up 10% attack rate always on Gentle Dream that's crazy co-op ability light damage 20% <laughs> increases light damage by 20% benefits your whole team. I already knew that she had this. I just It's just funny going from like, wow, that's great. And then going down to, oh, that's better. That's not better. I don't think it's better, but you know what I mean. Um, that's an insane co-op ability that makes her almost good for any bench in theory. Because that's just every single, anything that deals light damage in a light team. How about you just do it 20% more? That's kind of crazy. Light defense 16, 16, 6%. If a team member is attuned to light, increase their whole defense by 6%, benefits the whole team. Aid, um, mm -hmm. Aid of the Fairies 2. Grants the entire team a life shield at the start of quest. Using Gentle Dream grants the user Empowering Dreams effect. When this effect is active, the user's next 4 strike will fill 40% of skill gauges for each team member initial skill. So that would be only um, skill 1, and with the exception of Peony. Hmm, I wonder if that means all peyote, because they don't say you. They say this doesn't work on any peyote, so maybe that's their way of kind of going like, don't use a team of four peyotes, you buttholes. And grants the following effects to all team members for 10 seconds, none of which will stack. <laughs> increases strength by 10%, increases attack rate by... God dang. To buy to increase attack rate by 10%, increases defense by 20%. Adds 5% to shadow resistance, increases movement speed by 5%. <laughs> the Empowered Dreams effect cannot stack, will be consumed on use, and will not activate again for 20 seconds after activating. Curse resistance 100%, Paralyzed Punish 30%. This unit, on paper, seems nuts. I don't... This isn't... This is... The amount of just, like, buff she's giving is silly. <laughs> The, and not only that, even the, the, you know, a lot of them are temporary, but it kind of doesn't matter because if you have temporary of anything, there's also, I think, a good amount of worm prints that can just up the buff time so it's not the worst thing in the world. But if you get a lot of those stuff going, and maybe that's also, I really need to see if whether or not um, her first ability here is going to benefit from multiple peonies in a team because I really feel like. The exception of peony means no peonies at all will get it, but I'm not 100% sure about effects that are like this where it doesn't affect you. So we'll see about that. Um, she's kind of nuts. I would say... Um, Jesus Christ. That's an insane one, you did. I think some of Trash Alliance were talking about her in the chat, and I believe they said that almost every single... Um, good light unit that's used currently for Master Zodiac, and to be fair, there's not a lot of reasons to run Zodiac at the moment, but all the good light units are all limited. It's Gala Prince, it's Mitsuba, it's Luka, and now it's Peony. <laughs> all of them limited, and Peony's gonna be crazy limited. I don't know. I think that's that sounds nuts. Uh, those are those two units. Of these two units, I'm definitely leaning more towards Peony because she's literally a She's an element that I don't really have a unit that... I have a lot of units in light that I like, but none that I feel like great playing. Um, Peony might be the one to kind of get... I really do like wand units. I think they're really fun. Um, 
So I, I really want her. I already have a bunch of fire swords. I also have morph, so I don't really need Krom. I do want that co-op ability though. That co-op ability is, sounds insanely good and I would love to have him for that. Um, and in general, he's Krom and Krom is cool as hell. So I I have, I think my Mega Man's 50 MC at the moment. Uh, or is that what you pronounce it? Mm. The, the full mana circle. I have him. Yeah, it's MC. It's MC. I have him full mana circle, so if I pull this Krom, I'm guaranteed to also get him 50 MC, because if I have Mega Man of all units at 50 MC, then I think Krom equally deserves it in my eyes. Of course, there is also the issue of not having enough toilet paper, but whatever. Those are the two units I can't wait to summon tomorrow and hopefully get one of them, hopefully both of them. Um... And then wait for Tiki. We have no info on Tiki, but that's because she's part two of the banner. But yeah, that's it. Tomorrow's the day. Tell me which one of these two you like. Of course, if you remember, if you like this video, please leave a like. I am dealing with crazy stuff on my end. So as you can tell, um, what with a dog that constantly yells at the police and weird drug dealing things happening around my neighborhood, I go through a lot to and make videos, I guess. <laughs> So remember, leaving likes is good, even if I think it, the videos would be better without a dog barking, but whatever. That's the end of today's video. I'll see you all tomorrow, I suppose. No, in the next video, of course. You should watch all my videos. So, alright. Later, everyone. Have a good day.